Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. This is lesson three of our packet tracer series. In our previous lesson we kind of looked at computers and got a, a introduction of what they can do inside a packet tracer. We connected up two computers right here at a computer one and a PC four and I showed you just how after you have them connected you can pretty much move these wherever. But uh, let's continue on with this and actually get these computers to talk because right now these two computers do not have what's called an IP address and they can't talk to each other. So the electrical signals are flowing but they're not going to be able to actually see each other and transfer any any information. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to configure IP addresses on both sides. We're going to go to computer one first and drag this over here and we're going to do it this way, let's go to IP configuration on the desktop tab. Let's click there. We're going to give this side an IP address of 1.1.1.1. So basically all ones. And we'll give them a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So in the first three spots, 255. And for now, we'll leave the default gateway and DNS server blank. And after that, we're going to go to command prompt. Let's type in IP config. Let's see what, what this simulated command prompt will show us. So if you're in Windows and you type IP config, it's going to tell you your own information, your own IP address and subnet mask and all that good stuff. And you can see what we typed in before in that IP configuration application is transferred down here. So this looks pretty good. I'm going to leave that up and I can actually move this window off here somewhere. And let's configure this PC4 or if it's not called PC4 on your packet tracer, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. We can always rename it. Actually, let's do that. Let's call this computer 2. Let's not config confuse ourselves. Go over to the second tab right here, config. Highlight that display name and call it computer 2. And let's go over to desktop, go to IP configuration, and let's give this guy an IP address of 1.1.1.2 and a subnet mask of 255s in the first three spots, so 255.255.255.0, and we'll leave the default gateway alone. Go over to command prompt, let's just verify what we typed in, so IP config, and we see that we have an IP address. 1.1.1.2. So let's think about this. We have an address on one side that's all ones, an address on the other side which is 1.1.1.2. We have a green light. We have a connection. They're on the same VLAN. Now if you don't know what a VLAN is, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it in another lesson. But we have most or all of the, the basic components, the foundations of a network. We have two computers that should be able to ping each other, should be able to talk to each other. So let's see if that's true. So we're going to ping, I'm on computer two. So I'm going to ping to the other side, 1.1.1.1. And I have a reply. So that's pretty good. So what's happening here is the signal is bouncing from computer two. It's going from computer two to computer one. Computer one sees it and replies back. So we have two-way communication here. So that's pretty nice. Now, one thing I always recommend when you're studying for CCNA or any type of networking certification is you want to purposely break stuff, right? You want to purposely break stuff. So let's go back to computer two, hit the up arrow, and the up arrow brings back your last command. Just make sure your ping goes through. So that's good. We are going to start a ping that lasts forever. So let's see if I could do this. Now on a Windows machine, it's ping-t. And then you give it an IP address. Let's see if that works. So this should go more than the standard four times. So that's good. Got a ping going. So while Computer 2 is pinging computer 1. Let's see what evil stuff we could do. Let's go over to uh, let's go over to desktop here. Let's go back to IP configuration. 
And let's change that IP address. Let's change that IP address to a dot three. And let's see what happens here. Let's see if anything changes. And you can see after I change that IP address to dot three, computer two can't reach computer one anymore. And that's because his ping is trying to go to 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1, and uh, computer one, it changed its name, changed its address, changed its phone number, and now the signal isn't reaching the other side. You can think of this as kind of like getting a new mobile phone and the phone number did not carry over. People are still trying to call your old number and uh, just, not, just not getting to you. So that's pretty easy. Of course, we can go back to computer one. Pretty easy to get this to ping again. We could just change that dot three to dot one. Wait a couple seconds and our replies are now coming back. So that's pretty good, th pretty good stuff, right? Okay, let's see what else we can do. We, we have a good ping going. Let's see if I could delete this link in between here. Let's see here. Let's see. I could, I clicked on one end and now it's trying to follow me. If I hit uh, escape, then, okay, so that looks looks pretty good. I got the two computers just hanging out there. Let's see if we drag the wrong kind of cable. So before we dragged a crossover cable. Crossover cable is when you want to connect two devices of the same type. So really quickly, let's drag a straight through cable. Click on one end, fast ethernet. Click on the other end, fast ethernet. So it's just like connecting both sides. And you can see right there, it is red. Red means no bueno. It's not gonna talk. We don't even have physical connectivity here. And so we, we can still open our computer. We can still go to the command prompt, but um, it's not gonna work. And that's because our foundation isn't set. We don't even have a physical connectivity from one side to the other. So that's what happens when you connect the wrong kind of cable between two computers. All right, so this was lesson three of Packet Tracer, our Packet Tracer series. Just fooling around with two computers, connecting them, getting them to ping. And also we purposely mess things up by giving the one side the wrong address and seeing the pings drop. And also we finished up by dragging the wrong kind of cable, a straight through cable. So this is between computer to computer, we want to use a crossover cable. But we purposely messed it up by dragging a straight through cable. And you can see right here, Packet Tracer simulates that these two sides are dead. And you can see that by the red dots on the ends of the link there. All right, in lesson four, we're gonna be taking a look at switches inside of Packet Tracer. Thanks for watching.